Hey everybody, good afternoon. John Losh here, your friendly neighborhood Losh man for Fulfill Your Ministry. It is Thursday, uh, May 12th, 2022. Sitting on my back deck after work, one of my favorite places to be. Um, just sitting here enjoying God's creation and everything. But uh, wanted to uh, basically share with you basically what's been happening here recently. Um, you know, but previously when I first started the video series here on YouTube, um, I had mentioned that uh, Fulfill Your Ministry at that point was just me, it was my YouTube videos, it was my blog, it was my theme, it was, you know, the, the fact that I had had a previous radio show called Fulfill Your Ministry on Carney Community Radio, now I have one on um, Eternity Ready Radio, eternityreadyradio.com, um, but uh, that was about the extent of it at that point, but things have kind of evolved, and now there is a Facebook page. Um, there is a website in the works. Um, I will see it'll soon be a, an affiliate ministry under one of the oldest nonprofit Christian nonprofits in the United States, owned by one of my former bosses. He's also kind of like a dad to me. They're working on a website under his uh, nonprofit, the American Association for Higher Education and Accreditation. Um, which, when it comes out, it is not out yet, but when it comes out, it will be aahea.org forward slash fulfill your ministry. There will be pictures, there will be YouTube videos, there will be podcasts, there will be uh, radio shows, there will be um, just, you know, my ministry resume on there. There will be a list of strategic partners, just like there are on the uh, Facebook page. And so that will be added to on a very regular basis. And so basically, what's happened here is. Um, you know, I, I uh, do, do the missions and evangelism ministry at Solid Rock Bible Church, and I have since uh, the beginning of, uh, uh, end of 2020, beginning of 2021. And I've been bringing a lot of speakers into our church. Um, I teach an adult Sunday school class there, as many of you know. You've seen some of my YouTube, my teaching videos turn into YouTube videos and whatnot. But, um, so I'm able to bring these speakers in and tell them, hey, take my class for the morning. I've got one coming, David Cook with Verizontal Media this Sunday, as a matter of fact. Um, got one via Zoom next week. Um, anyway, so I'm able to bring these people in and say, hey, take my class for the morning. And then um, they get a, uh, so that gives them a full hour to share their testimony about their ministry. Um, have a question and answer period. And then in the uh, worship service, they get like a five minute or so presentation up in the beginning of the worship service, which I also um, introduce. Well, after having 25 speakers last year, and I think I'm up to like, uh, after next week, it'll be like seven this year so far. Um, then, you know, God started making me realize that a lot of these ministries could work very well together and make an even greater impact if they were to be introduced. So I've been working to introduce some of them. Um, I, I met with uh, Pastor Brian Carline from Team Jesus at his facility, which is literally just up the street. It's called the Unity Center. It's at 803 23rd Street in Independence, just up the street from where I'm currently working, along with also met with uh, Bible Bill Barker from Our Hands to Their Hands, taking Bibles to the Philippines. They're possibly discussing going to the Philippines together when Bill goes in August. Okay, they've hinted about bringing me along. I don't know if God's going to open that door or not, but if he does, I certainly won't argue. Um, I also met with, uh, introduced uh, all of them to John Don't, Pastor John Doney of God's Family Ranch out in Holden. And then the ones that I could introduce them to right then and there, I gave them like each like three pages of information with uh, names, phone numbers, addresses, website links, you know, whatever, so that they could phone numbers, so they could call these other ministries and get involved with them and see, you know, where those connections led them. Um, so anyway, I'm hoping to see, you know, more and more things happen. Well, anyway, something that was already in the works from the time uh, Team Jesus came to Solid Rock Bible Church here recently was one of our family members at Solid Rock was telling Pastor Brian about her neighborhood and some of the things going on in that neighborhood over there in Northeast Kansas City. And I've lived over in that area before, so trust me, I get it. Um, but anyway, uh, Pastor Brian didn't bat an eye. He just said, okay, we're going to come and do a, a block party there. Well, that block party was just this past Monday. And it was a lot bigger than I ever even imagined. Um, there was uh, people there from like six different states. Um, there was a, a band there, an awesome band named uh, um, Immerse Worship. Uh, they were from uh, Brooksville, Florida. There were guys there doing uh, baptisms in case someone wanted to receive Christ and wanted to be baptized right there on the spot from Reborn Ministries out of Tampa, Florida. There was somebody there from North Carolina, Texas, San Francisco, California. Um, 
you know, and, and probably even more. That's just the ones that I know about. Um, a lot of these folks who have traveled across the country to, uh, to attend that event are also putting on other events with Team Jesus throughout the rest of this week. And then they're all um, attending uh, an event called The Send that's going on at Arrowhead Stadium this Saturday. Uh, TheSend.org, if you want to look that up. Lots of uh, speakers, lots of uh, music groups over that. And it's supposed to be all about getting revival going in Kansas City. So, anyway, so now what I'm looking to, to, to continue to do is to reach out and connect uh, more and more ministries and strategic partnerships. I was sitting at work today, and I was thinking about uh, one of our podcasters on Eternity Ready Radio. is a very popular podcast, um, and uh, maybe speaking on uh, the 700 Club here for too long. Um, and it's called the Altered Stories Podcast. It's all about women, um, how God is altering their lives, and as they pursue Him, some have come out of abusive situations, some have dealt with infertility, abortions, addictions, you name it. Um, and I was thinking about one of our church family members who we recently filmed um, uh, because we started doing interviews of some of our church family and eventually our church staff to actually put on our church website. If you go to SR, that's S is in Sam, R is in Robert, srbiblechurch.org, you'll see there's a new feature on there, meeting some of the church family on there. And there's two videos on there already, and we're going to be doing more. Um, so I, re I did the interviews with both of them. Um, so um, I thought about her, and I thought, you know, she might be a great fit to be on Michelle's podcast. And so I texted her today, said, hey, listen to these podcasts. Um, if you're interested, uh, let me know. I'll send Michelle your phone number, and you two can connect, and I'll even send her your, your interview video. And you guys can just talk about maybe you being on her video. Now, do I know it's going to happen? No, I don't. It's still up to how God leads at this point. But it's somebody else that I can connect in a strategic partnership that, you know, may lead to, you know, a great blessing for our church family member, um, as well as the Altar Stories podcast ministry, uh, things like that. So, um, and basically the, and I came up with a mission statement, and I've been trying to say it from memory, but I'm not going to do that this time, because I, I wanted to write it down. So anyway, fulfilling a ministry of instilling the truth of the inspired, inerrant, infallible, authoritative word of God in the gospel of Jesus Christ into the lives of others everywhere. That's number one. And number two, by the grace of God, meeting the right people in the right place at the right time, that they might be connected in strategic partnerships for greater gospel impact. Now, if you go to the Facebook page and you see um, that there's more about that, and I go on to say, and this is how that happens, okay? This is how these two points happen. Um, I won't go on with those, but that's the basic mission statement, okay? So this is going bigger than just, you know, um, my blog, my YouTube videos, or me having a radio show. Um, I, the Jeremiah Ferris, that uh, is the main owner of uh, Eternity Ready Radio, um, he and I work together, and we talked this week, and I haven't been really good about recording new material for uh, my show, Fulfill Your Ministry. It's been a lot of pre-recorded shows from my shows on when I was on Kearney Community Radio, um, some of my uh, shows when I was on KCXL 1140 AM in Liberty from 2000 to 2000 or 2004 to 2008, um, things like that. That he had copies of the CDs of and whatnot. But we're going to start recording regular new material um, right after work on Fridays now. So I'll be able to go do that and still be home uh, to to be with my wife and everything on Friday nights. So I um, really want to start getting some fresh material out there for the show. Um, I, I downloaded a, uh, a phone uh, recorder app on my phone, um, but uh, I may not even need that because, I mean, if he's there and he's got, you know, software going, we can record on it, whatever, I can just go ahead and call somebody, put them on speaker, and we could just record the call um, for the show. So I could do some interviews by phone if I don't have anybody to interview by, per by in person and whatnot. So, you know, lots of good possibilities there. So if you'd like to be a guest on the show, look me up. Um, uh, you know, email me, uh, fulfillyourministry81 at yahoo.com. That's fulfillyourministry81 at yahoo.com. My phone number is 816-914-3578, 816-914-3578. Uh, I'm also on WhatsApp and Telegram at those two at that number. Um, you can face up and message me on Facebook. I'm under John W. Losh the second, and of course, uh, and it's the one that has the uh, verse in the circle of Second Timothy four five. But you be sober in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. So it's that one. 
Um, and then, of course, you can look up the Fulfill Your Ministry page as well. Uh, or you can friend me, and then uh, once I've accepted your friend request, then I can um, send you an invite to that page. Um, so anyway, uh, the reason I'm doing this video today is to introduce you to the series of videos you're going to see on here on YouTube that are going to be from that block party on Monday. And I believe there's six, seven, eight of them, I think, um, all together. And so the next, uh, the, this is going to be the series. Um, so we're going to call this block party introduction. And then the rest of them will just be block party number one, number two, number three, and so forth uh, that you'll be seeing here. Um, I need to finish getting the videos downloaded for the second series I, I taught um, uh, at uh, Solid Rock Bible Church called Love Leads and get those done. But anyway, I want to get these videos done for the block party uh, because I feel like, like it's the most significant thing for right now and get all those eventually put on a blog. Um, I think I'm going to start a food blog. The food blog, believe it or not, my, me, I'm starting a food blog. Yeah, I, I love to eat, and uh, some thinking about starting a food blog, and uh, the, the first one will just be kind of introducing who am I, um, where do my food interests lie, uh, my favorite fast food restaurants, barbecue restaurants, uh, sit-down restaurants, um, you know, things like that, um, my favorite uh, uh, food TV shows, um, you know, things that I like to cook, um, things like that. I mean, and I'm no chef. I'm no chef. I'm not, I'm not. I'm not a chef. I'm no, you know, total, I'm no food connoisseur or anything like that. I'm just an ordinary guy that loves to eat. But I thought, you know, I'd really like to share about that. And uh, I need to get back to, to keeping it some of my other blogs as well. Loshman's Hollywood Classics, Cool Cars USA, and, and my uh, uh, Casey Trekkie and some of my other blogs. I need to get back to keeping those up as well. Uh, so I'm working on some plans to do those. But anyway, so I wanted to introduce you to the, uh, like I said, this, this block party took place in Northeast Kansas City, Missouri, uh, back on Monday. And uh, the uh, series of videos that are going to follow this will all be from, uh, there are some, on, some that are more lengthy than others, some that are shorter, but uh, they'll all be from that block party. And I hope you enjoy those. And uh, it'll just continue the Fulfill Your Ministry series here. And we'll eventually get all those put on a blog. And uh, we'll just see where things go from there. Uh, things to also be praying about, uh, hopefully, uh, first week of next month, and we've got a concert coming to Solid Rock Bible Church with the Messengers of Faith um, on the 21st of this month. Uh, then the first week of June, June 1st through the 5th, uh, if God willing, uh, we should be having our first uh, missions conference called the World Outreach Celebration, uh, June 1st through the 5th. That'll be a Sun uh, Wednesday through a, uh, a Sunday. And then uh, another concert with uh, um, uh, Ron and Carrie Bates, um, in the middle of uh, June, and uh, we'll just see where things go from there. So, and uh, so anyway, things to be praying about for that, and just again, just pray that God, you know, brings more and more connections where I can, I can, you know, help connect more and more ministries and strategic partnerships um, that that will make greater gospel impact, not only now but in the long run. Um, for eternity. So just wanted to introduce you to that. So thanks for tuning in today. God bless. Beloved, if I don't see you here, I love you. Jesus loves you. I'll see you in the air. And again, 2 Timothy 4, 5 says, but you be sober in all things, endure afflictions, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. So what are you sitting there for? Go do it.